Welcome to the campaign demonstration for our email marketing tool. This demonstration will show you how to create a campaign, create an email design based on a template, change the content of the email, decide on who you want to send it to using our segmentation module, and finally broadcast the email to your list. From the main menu, click on your email campaigns. This is a list of all campaigns created within your organization. Click on the Add New button at the bottom right of the screen to add a new campaign. Enter a name, description and manager for your campaign. These are for internal use only and do not form part of the broadcasted email. Select the standard email campaign. The other campaign types are covered in the documentation. Accept the defaults for everything else and click OK to create your campaign. You are now in a three-step process for sending out your campaign. Step one is where you create your email design. Step two is where you decide who you want to send the email to and step three is where you broadcast the email. You are now on the step one tab. Click the add new button to add a new design. Select a design type. HTML design is the default. Enter a name and a description. Select a template from the list of built-in templates. Select one of your own templates if you have previously saved one or simply click OK to create a blank design. I'm going to choose the blue and white template. This is the email designer. The design is divided into a number of lines to make it easier to work with. In this template, line 1 is the header of the email, line 2 is the body, and line 3 is the footer, contact details, opt-out link, etc. You can put whatever you want on each line, or put all of the content on one line if you want. Beside each line, you have a control panel with a number of options. Click the Edit Line button to edit a line. This will open the content editor for that line, so you can edit the content. The content editor is a WYSIWYG editor. If you've used Microsoft Office, iWork, or a similar application, you will recognize many of the formatting options here. You can change fonts, text formatting, add images, tables, links, and even snippets of pre-designed content layouts that you can directly add to your email. All of these features are explained in the user guide. If you have created content outside of the system, you can import it into the content editor from the HTML screen. Click HTML and paste your HTML into the pop-up window. When you have finished editing your content, click the Save icon to save your changes. Once your design is done, the next step is to create your segment. A segment is a custom list containing some or all of your contacts, based on rules that you specify. I am on the Step 2 Build Segment tab within my campaign. To get started, click the Add New button at the bottom right of the screen. Enter a name and a description for your segment. Try to use a name that helps describe who is in the segment, for example New York List, Sales, Prospects, etc. Select one of the Quick Start rules to help you build a segment. These rules are Seed List, which lets you manually enter up to 15 addresses on screen. If these contacts do not exist in your database, they will be added automatically. This feature is ideal for creating test segments. Imported list, which lets you choose from a list of contacts that you have already imported into the system. Click the radio button at the end of a line to select an imported list. Send to everyone, which creates a segment containing all contacts in your organization. Send to save segment lets you send to a segment that you have already created in the system and have saved as a segment template. Select a segment from the drop-down list. Send to custom list simple allows you to create specific rules for your segment based on data in a contacts record. For example, you can create a segment of all contacts based in New York, all contacts who have a job title of sales manager, or all contacts who work for a particular company or industry. Any data in a contacts record can be used here. Selecting this option takes you to the rules builder. Send to custom list advanced lets you create segments based on the results of older campaigns. For example, everyone who has opened an email or everyone who has clicked on a particular link. This is a great feature for doing follow-up campaigns. This function also allows you to create segments based on the results of a survey. Great for following up with contacts who answered a certain way in a survey. Once again, clicking this option will take you to the Rules Builder. For this demonstration, I will choose an imported list. Click the radio button to select an import and you will be returned to the segment list. The segment will build automatically. When finished, the status will say built and the list size will tell you how many contacts were included in the segment. If you want to change the segment rules, click the edit rules icon. When finished, you will need to rebuild the segment with the build icon. Once the segment is built, the final step is to broadcast your email. 
click on the Step 3 Broadcast Newsletter tab and click the Add New button to add a new broadcast. This is the Add Broadcast screen and is divided into six sections over two tabs. At the top of the screen is the Add Broadcast panel where you can give the broadcast a name and a description. The Email Header Details panel is where you specify the subject line, the from address and the reply to address. As you can see, default values can be set for these fields. In the Select Message panel, select either the HTML message, text message or both. Under Select Segment Recipients, select the segment that you have created in Step 2. This is who the email will be sent to. If you want to schedule a broadcast or run at a later date or time, you can do so from the Scheduled Broadcast tab. Click OK when the broadcast is configured and build it. This builds the first 20 messages, which you can preview with the Show Details button once built. When the email is built and you are ready to broadcast, click the Send icon. The emails will be sent immediately or scheduled for a later time if you have used the scheduler. That concludes this demo. Thanks for watching.